Welcome, one and all, to the Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. It is Friday, Friday. The president has had an exciting week. He is just, is he back? He's just come back from the World Economic Forum in Davos, and a lot of people are talking about the fact that, because of some tension at home, Trump left for Davos without his better half, John Kelly. <laughs> instead, <laughs> instead, he left Kelly in Washington to negotiate on immigration. And that's not easy, because immigration has been a hot button issue in America since about 1492. <laughs> Now, Trump has ordered law enforcement to keep dangerous immigrants off the streets. And earlier this week, they caught one because Border Patrol agents arrested an Arizona man who worked with a group that offers food and water to immigrants. This story brings to mind that famous Mr. Rogers quote, when I was a boy and I would see scary things in the news, my mother would say to me, look for the helpers, then call Border Patrol and turn them in. <laughs> now, won't you be my neighbor? Now... Technically, this volunteer didn't assist anyone across the border, but he was still slapped with felony charges of alien smuggling, and I believe we have acquired footage of him committing that crime. <laughs> they are going to need a really high wall. Oh, oh here's a quick question. Who here watches TV? Good. Good, or else I wouldn't even know how you knew who I was. So, <laughs> this week, there was an absolutely gut-wrenching episode of This Is Us. Now, uh, we've been waiting for two seasons to find out how the father, Jack, dies. Well, last episode, we found out that he turns off the family's old, janky crockpot, goes to bed, it shorts out, bursts into flames, and the house is incinerated. It was TV's most harrowing kitchen appliance-based character death since Frazier swallowed that can opener. <laughs> Naturally, This Is Us fans were traumatized, and they turned their fury against their crockpots, tweeting things like, my mom just threw our crockpot out, and I just threw my crockpot out the window, hashtag This Is Us. Okay. A note here, your crock pot won't actually catch fire, but throwing it out the window can give someone a pretty serious head injury. <laughs> of course, the good people at crock pot rushed into crisis mode, which is right next to Simmer. <laughs> oh, mmm, mmm. You ever had any crisis beef? It's so good. <laughs> they issued a statement, this is true, saying crock pot understands the concerns brought up by last night's episode of This Is Us. <laughs> And we, too, are heartbroken by the latest developments in Jack's storyline. Our hope is that the team at NBC's This Is Us will help us in spreading factual information <laughs> regarding our product safety. Yeah, it's important. That's the job. You gotta tell the truth. That's NBC's job. I gotta tell you, that's gonna make for a really compelling episode. Oh, my God, I loved it when Randall and Beth started talking about rotary knob testing and low-wattage self-regulating heating elements.